People are comfortable spending a lot of time talking on cell phones. Communicating in aviation is different, though. Our jargon is terse, hardly conversational, and managing communications properly is a sign of a developing pro. So where do you start? A good first move is a VHF receiver that you can use to listen to communications. Unless you're near a ground station, such as a control tower, you'll only be able to hear the pilot's side of communications, but that's the side you have to learn. Listen to airline pilots. They are the best at saying only what's necessary and doing so in as few words as possible. Someday communications will switch from the spoken word to an uplink downlink system. This is already happening in some applications and it'll filter down to general aviation, but for now we're talking and listening. One of the best things ever to happen to general aviation is the almost universal use of headsets. There's a headset to fit every head. Just make sure the one that you buy is comfortable on your head. After you listen to a lot of communication, spend some time in your easy chair thinking of the transmissions you will use at various times in your flying. If you fly at a controlled airport with a tower, your first call will probably be to ground control. It's pretty simple. Hagerstown ground, Cessna 40 Romeo Charlie at the tea hangars, ready to taxi. We have the weather. That last comment is important because it tells the controller you have listened to the local weather broadcast and have the altimeter setting and the surface wind as well as the reported weather, thus saving him some words in his reply. Other transmissions are equally simple. Just tell the controller who you are and what you want. Listening is important, too. The messages are short, so listen to the whole message with an open mind before you question anything. If you let a question creep in while the controller is talking, you probably won't comprehend anything he says after the question comes into your mind. If he says 40 Romeo Charlie, continue, report on a three-mile final to runway Niner, Listen, then wrap your mind around all that and do remember to report on that three-mile final. If, after you've listened to the message and you do still have a question, by all means ask that question. Finally, if you fly a lot around a busy airport, you'll learn about frequency congestion and the fact that you might have to wait a bit to get a word in edgewise. Do listen for a gap because it is considered aeronautically impolite to talk when someone else is talking. That is referred to as stepping on someone. At a busy place, you'll be constantly reminded that saying your message in as few words as possible is a real piloting virtue, one that convinces everyone that you do indeed have the right stuff.